Good evening, Professor Hira Namarasekara. Thank you very much for coming to my Atra Madhyava channel to talk about digital education. It's a very uh, current topic because since the pandemic, most of the education went online and many people are looking towards the internet to see how much they can learn from it. And I personally am very happy you're here because I remember, sir, about two years ago when the first pandemic lockdown happened, it was you who told the Dean and both of you contacted me to ask me to do some lessons on the Sri Jayavardhanapura YouTube channel. So it was you who actually got me into this space. I was never even dreaming about YouTube as a platform for education. And I remember a long time ago how it struck you that I could probably make a difference here. And then you got me to start my lessons there. And I still remember the very first lesson I did, about 20,000, 22,000 people have watched it to date. So something that you started, then I began to believe in. And so thank you, sir, for starting me on that journey. First of all, you and the Dean, Shiranta, uh, sir, both of you, um, Shiranta Hinkende, Professor Shiranta Hinkende, both of you started me on this journey and you allowed me to carry on by myself and do various other things. So to introduce you uh, formally, um, you're in the science faculty of the Sri Jayavadanapuri University, and you're a professor of forestry and environmental science. And uh, also you're the director of digital media in um, our campus. Can you tell me the exact name of that Hiran sir? No, in fact, uh, I'm in charge of the uh, website and uh, we have a uh, Japura Media, which is the university official uh, video channel. Yes. Uh, so it is, I'm sort of a director of digital media and communication. I see. And, uh, for your introduction, and we are happy that our academics are uh, coming up in a YouTube in a good way because uh, YouTube is not only for a, a young kids to play around, and it is a new media where the intellects should come in and present their voice and add. Um, advice to the young people and younger generation and general public as a large. So you are you have a very good communication skills and as a writer and uh, a lot of English knowledge, which is uh, important in Sri Lankan context. So it is good that you have started this uh, YouTube channel and I wish you all the best in this your endeavors also. Thank you, sir. You're the first one who told me I might have something to do in this space. So personally, I, I owe you a lot. Uh, so today, sir, now you're speaking within a program I have called Alternative Spaces for Education, because with times, platforms change, things change, and we no longer should think of maybe the university system as the only place in which a good education can be had. And I remember a conversation with you, which is the reason why I uh, United you here today, where you spoke of the different courses. And I think you have to use the term micro credentials in a different um, YouTube that I watched. Could you explain, sir, first, where education on cyberspace is going? What is happening? What is being offered? Is there a cost involved in it? Or can anyone access it? Could you first give us a in like a brief overview of what is available on the internet today. In fact, the education has changed world over for from long time. Uh, there was a, what you call uh, blended learning and there are different uh, channels. However, due to COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it was very challenging for universities like us in Sri Lanka and also not for, only for us, but even the Western universities, uh, there was a challenge. This micro credentials name also I caught up in those one of those webinars I attended. I think it's from University of Oxford. I think they were talking about this thing because this recent trend. We are earlier even in our universities. Sometimes there is a criticism on the university system that we are not uh, making employable graduates. Where our main mission is to give them a hard skills or what you call uh, major subject areas. So my subject is forestry and environment science and in the arts faculty you are doing history 
philosophy, various other things. So we got to give them the necessary theoretical background. However, in the world of work, there are a lot of other things they need. So in order to fill this gap, they are now there's a, what is called this micro credentials, where uh, it, these courses are called stackable, where you can take uh, individual courses. Now this is not a now in normal our university courses are very lengthy sometimes, and we try to cover entire syllabus as such. But in these courses, they are more skill based and chunk basic chunks. We are say you want to uh, English even for example English. I think you are also doing this one in a way because you are also giving free and open knowledge to the student where you don't teach, I think, everything. You know, I mean, you make it a chunk, no? Maybe present tense today, next week, uh, present participants. Likewise, and in a, there are a lot of, this has originated first in the technology field, computer technology, internet technology, uh, engineering field. Now it has spread up world over. And there are a lot of websites, as you said, that there are two, three types. One is in the YouTube, you can see a lot of free knowledge. Even in Sri Lanka, I have also, yesterday also I watched uh, what you call this bit, uh, Bitcoin, how to invest in Bitcoin. So there are, in, even in Sinhal, medium videos are now very good. Even I monetize my channel, YouTube channel, by observing this Sinhal YouTube uh, videos. But there are a lot of things in English medium. A lot of education there and specifically if i if you want i can tell you these micro credentials are working on about two three major websites one is coursera coursera uh, and other one is edx and likewise there are a lot of a lot of things but mainly edx coursera and even the google has come up in this one uh, some of these courses are offered by university of uh, stanford and major u.s universities and uh, for example, I have started learning uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence. So, uh, there's another uh, format called MOOCs. That is Massive Open Online Courses. Hiran, yeah. sir, if I share screen with you, will yes. you able to will you be able to write those uh, names, sir? If I enable share screening with you, right. And also, uh, yeah, you can. Is even uh, I can. Uh, while uh, talking, I can talk you to uh, some of these sites, no? Yes, sir. I, I share. Now, you're, you're also a host because that way people um, I'm very interested in getting people who are not within education spaces yes. to have a knowledge about what's available because this is open and free to anyone. Yes. I will just, uh, for an example, I will I will show them the one particular example that is the, I think what I can say, this is the one of the world's largest uh, learning space that is called Coursera. Uh, in fact, uh, this has given free of charge to most of our uh, university students during COVID-19 time. So this is a Coursera website and uh, you can log in. And uh, there are a lot of courses, as you can see, Google, uh, some of these courses are very uh, important courses. That's new UX design is uh, user interface design. If you know the computer terminology that you must be known, Facebook marketing, uh, they, likewise, this bookkeeping range of subjects are there. These are the best known examples that they are Google data analytics is a very popular course. Uh, and also there's another course if you want uh, uh, English, uh, Writing in Science, which is free free course offered by uh, Stanford University. Let me uh, type. Uh, writing in the Sciences from the Stanford University. Uh, okay, so within this website, sir, there are different universities offering courses. That is correct. I see. Now, is, for example, this writing in the science is offered by uh, University of Stanford in USA, uh, doctor. Which is an Ivy League campus. I mean, even to get there, you have to be extremely intelligent just to enter but, as a student. Yeah, but this particular course is free, enroll free. You can free Amazing. and watch the videos. All the videos are there. Uh, I think I have a login. I can log in. I, I have already enrolled this course. Yeah. And uh, all the, even subtitles are there. If you do have a, you know, somewhat uh, English knowledge is not very good, 
then there are uh, subtitles also there so you can go to the course directly and then you start learning and um, one of the and interesting answer things, apart from what you're saying i find yes. it extremely inspirational to have a professor say i am also following this course you see that for me is real education where you actually have come to the top of your ladder but you also have enrolled in something to keep learning because i have found it real people who love education they never rest they never say now i know everything so i hope anyone who is listening and the person who is talking about this himself is learning because that is for me a sign of real i don't know real intellect to know that you don't know everything so please continue sir yeah that is called lifelong learning no in yes. the knowledge, knowledge economy you can't uh, stop learning people who have stopped learning is a issue no now we particularly uh, this writing in english to if you want to write uh, and clear thinking very important no? as scientist all of us have something to say to say we also have clear thinking so this part really shouldn't be intimidating what's more intimidating is this elegant and stylish Likewise. part people get really afraid that oh am i going to sound the right way but in fact this elegant and stylish part doesn't happen on a first draft elegant and stylish writing happens in revision even for professional so in a poster is one particular example but there are other uh, different examples as you said now uh, what is happening here is this particular course is free but some courses you go to now in, in uh, recently they have given one uh, student one course free for our university system if we have a uh, ac.lk website okay. now our university we have ac.lk colombo cmb.ac.lk however now they recently they have sent us a letter saying that they are going to charge us one but even without charging they, you need to get if you want to get a certificate you you have to pay if you how do much not, sir? around uh, roughly how much is it like converted to rupees is it something no, that many people will be able to afford or not now this this particular course is a no they are now at the time saying is shown you is a certificate course this yes. is free okay. some certificate courses are starting from 5000 rupees per Right of some rupees, but if it is a degree or a MSc or a higher level, it might be costlier. But okay. without having the, if you do not want the certificate, still you can watch all the videos. That I see. Okay, so even okay, so just for the love of knowledge, you can follow it free. That's true. Now, now for example, I don't need any of these certificates. No, yes. I have in my ladder, career ladder up. so yes, we don't yes. need to show anyone i am going not going to apply no right. but i to my interest i am following the machine learning course from uh, i think that's also very good course okay. yeah, i have learned by uh, by following two three uh, courses videos i have now got a lot of knowledge on that one yes, so sir. you go and check and uh, learn lot of things and when we when i have uh, presented this one to our university um, students i have uh, seen one particular student from our health sciences faculty he has followed about did i told you know that in, during um, covid 19 time these were free yes he has followed about 15 courses and got certificates wow. so and now what happens is when you go to the uh, interview you can have a what is called digital portfolio rather than going with a lot of your uh, other physical files you can have a digital portfolio or even in that even in the physical one you can say i have followed this learning in english course from stanford university this is the certificate likewise mm -hmm. and not not only that now even now our university students are following lot of courses now like sima sim and maybe english courses also you know why yes. here they pay very much so you pay and uh, learn no but then but, but now even if you go and pay and get a some tuition class if you have an uh, you have followed the stanford course you can go and say no i have followed the stanford course no that right. is have a courage and good good uh, recognition from the industry no other thing is industry most of the time industry has initiated these courses not this yeah. one but yeah. uh, now this uh, machine learning course the world expert ex expert on machine learning so if you follow his course that world over not only here if you go to if you join, want to join google uh, 
Facebook, any big company, you can say that I have followed this particular person's course. Then they will recognize. Even you and in Sri Lanka, from your Sri Lankan house, you can get a globally accepted. Now, these are called globally accepted credentials. That's incredible, sir. So, these things, did this happen after the pandemic and we got to know about it or were they always happening? These free courses or these uh, online learning? This MOOCs has originated about uh, 20 years ago. Even I followed the first particular, not I did not follow, but I heard about first particular course on, uh, uh, I think that is also artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, this from uh, uh, MIT, MIT in the uh, USA. Sir, can you put that, the MOOCs? Is it M-O-O-K-S? At least M put how to M type it. M-O-O-C, M-O-O-C, MOOCs. Right. I can... Uh, Show it, sir, because uh, somebody who's really interested might be listening who may not have access to you or the campus. Now you can see me. Yes. Right. It's called M-O-O-C. That is massive, open. Massive means these particular courses attract hundreds and hundred thousand, more than hundred thousand students sometimes. Wow. Wow. Open. Okay. Yes. Open, uh, online? Online courses. Online courses. Massive, open, now, online courses. Right. So if you type that on the Google search bar, what will open? No, no. If you type MOOCs and this, you will say that what are the qualification, sorry, what is called, uh, what are the, what type of MOOCs are available and things like that. Definition right. of MOOCs. Now what right. I'm saying is particular one is this Coursera. 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 I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Coursera. Right. So you showed us an example of what is under MOOC. Yeah. Under MOOC. I yeah. see. Okay. Okay. That's I understand. Fine. Now, Coursera was a, not recent, recent introduction, and I have uh, listened to the Coursera um, founder. She's from Stanford. She was saying that education is a great equalizer, where you can solve a lot of problems from the education, poverty, uh, gender issues, even the racial differences can be solved with education. Of course, so, sir. Yeah, that is why all of us are within some, whatever we are capable of, we are trying to take that message across. You know, if you're with educated people, things might get, or at least, and educated people should not be narrowly defined as university people or anything. Mm -hmm. You can be educated when you're driving a three-wheeler, and they are in their yeah. own way. But mm -hmm. it's nice to show them what is freely available. I have a question to you, sir, if anyone has a problem with English. Right, as a language, will that stop them from accessing this kind of knowledge? No, I don't think so. Now, you know that uh, even our science faculties and medical faculties, people come without any, I mean, very le less English knowledge. Yes, Some sir. have good English knowledge also. Unlike yes, in the uh, humanities and social science faculties, I think you, most of the courses are in English medium. Some are now going towards uh, in single medium. Some are now going towards English medium also. I think uh, now they are doing very well. Even in the medical now, recently also someone asked me this question on the other way, the physical, physical. Now, if you are going to follow these online courses, these everything is, as you can, can you say, script is also there. Script I will show script. the script, but the script is also there. You can read that script uh, online, what you call uh, discussion forums are there. You can uh, for, uh, join in those discussion forums. Maybe if you are not a good English knowledge, you will take time, but it doesn't matter. You will, and they are speaking in a very good language. The, uh, and nowadays, uh, it is not that in Google, uh, artificial intelligence. Now, yesterday I have seen the Mark Zuckerberg's talk. Now, now he has uh, moved to a uh, new company. You know what he is saying is that he, they are going to, very soon, they are going to have the language barrier removed. Well, as you speak in English, they will translate it to Sinhala. He said oh. that very, very rare languages, not only the famous language, very rare languages, they try to translate. That is with the artificial intelligence. So the, I think if you are listening here, and if you think that these courses are for very English educated people, that is not so. I know Madhu, Madhu Bhashini, uh, well, Dr. Madhu Bhashini, she is uh, pressing this hard. You don't have to worry about and uh, 
this is not a card you know you don't need that kind of thing i uh, i remember something very interesting that you said sir when we had the telephone conversation before this interview you said just by trying to learn something else and not worrying about english might make your english improve anyway like for example you are going you are learning machine learning in an english yeah yeah medium yeah. course so because you are so driven to learn what is being said without you knowing you are you are using the language and yeah, that is the only way in which you can learn it really yeah that is true. i mean what i'm saying is this person may not be knowing that what is what is known as spoken english yes. <laughs> I mean, you, you don't need that there is i do i know madhu will say there's no such thing as spoken english also absolutely <laughs> <laughs> i keep saying that there is no other category like in sri lanka we seem to think there's something else called spoken english no it's all one english that is right now i thought that in a lot of our sri lankans are saying that they spoken english they know the knowledge if you know the english knowledge you can go and some of these uh, courses are multilingual also now in 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 future these will come to the sri lanka also that's what i say you know some of the courses are now lot of sri lankan authors are if you are going to buy a phone or cryptocurrency and now even these days uh, we have a problem in this solar issue no yes, i also I told you that you can fix a uh, what you call solar system uh, solar panels off grid off grid oh, solar yes. system <laughs> yeah. that is also available in single language some videos are available in single language you can do it yourself you can buy mm-hmm. the solar uh, panels mm-hmm. and uh, inverter batteries and you can fix it so those things are available if you know little bit of english i mean anyway you are searching in english no you are searching in english and there are a lot of uh, knowledge is endless and you can learn english also from here uh, like those courses not like you uh, town english teacher but this global english no that's the thing because uh, there are various ways of learning and that is what i'm trying to also show in my channel just by following these courses on a different subject in english through your desire to learn more about the discipline your english naturally goes up because you're actually using it so i think we should get out of the framework of thinking that you have to go to a teacher and learn mm-hmm. or learn grammar that is one of the saddest things no oh, not yeah. really yeah. if you keep listening to these courses in english naturally that grammar is going to come into your head you mm-hmm. acquire it as opposed to learning it and that mm-hmm. is always more powerful so i love the fact sir apart from the fact that you showed what is available it automatically puts somebody's english also up because you automatically engage with the language mm-hmm. and that's very important so sir if now if if to summarize what you said people without money can do this if they are not willing if they are willing to let go of the certificate right yeah that is true yes, you can so, learn a lot of new things a lot of new things and that's and what no. knowledge is knowledge is not the collection of certificates of course no, no, no. ground breaking things now some of these things are what we call uh, what is a term call uh, these are disruptive technologies it will disrupt everything so you got to learn this disruptive technologies now earlier when we were typewriting uh, we got a this um, word and other document processing applications no like was the next big, next big thing is machine learning artificial intelligence maybe you must also not be knowing but you will also got to know those are disruptive technologies this, this will destroy everything you got to learn them in ahead of other things now suppose you are graduating all the batch of your students with a history degree or environment science degree if you know one particular thing then very good and in our field environment sustainability there is a united nations environment sustainability they have separate moocs and there are some elisen courses there are some some of the courses are very um, low cost courses and also uh, you know um this uh, facebook and the other one is linkedin linkedin education linkedin education has lot of courses and if you are a, if you want there are in the daras these are some pirated courses also now they give i mean it is not good to say but if you want if you go to daras and there are vendors who will crack these things and they have crack version uh, if you get this one and you can access any of the linkedin courses free you won't get a certificate but you can learn a lot of things statistics all big data is a big new things every every person should learn something different from your own field now my field is biology 
forestry environments. But I am learning from the artificial intelligence, machine learning, which is not my field. Then you I'm can just have... driven out of curiosity, no, sir. And that's yeah. the best way to learn. You yeah. learn not because you're following. It's not that either of us think that certificates don't matter because when you go for a job, of course it matters. But that's a different category. What we are trying to say is that if you love learning, there is a space. These courses are available free. And when you, you know, when you learn, it doesn't matter what discipline you're in. You become better at whatever you're doing. It doesn't have to be connected because if Hiransa kept on studying only forestry, you know, he'll be a superb discipline expert, but he might also be limited. So to open your mind out, might be a better way to go if you want to be like a completely whole educated person. That's personally something I think about. So I don't know about machine learning and AI very much, but I read a lot. Mm -hmm. And right now the book I'm reading is the fourth one of the Millennium Trilogy, the one that came afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's about AI and mm -hmm. the fear of a machine, a self-learning machine one day overtaking the humans. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, the danger of that, then what happens? Because a super intelligent machine, they are going to be nothing compared to what they can do. So I read the fictional part of the dangers of that. So in a way, everything is uh, connected. Hiransa, thank you very much. I will conclude the English interview here because what I wanted to tell my target audience was the availability of knowledge. And if you are willing to spend money, even certificate, because the micro credentials are available and you can get a certificate for the money if you want. Some are cheap as you know, 5,000, some I'm, I'm guessing can be very expensive. So it's still there if you want to learn, it's on the internet. These things came to Sri Lanka very powerfully because of the pandemic, mm. right? It's because of the pandemic, you also got me to come and talk on the YouTube channel of our campus. But these were existing before and maybe, who knows, in the future, that might be the common way of learning yes. one day, the, the way things are moving now and, you know, in, the, in the field of technological science. Thank you very much. And we are going to speak again of these things in Singhala. So till we meet again, thank you, sir. Thank you, my pleasure.